Comical. That's good for, uh... Tell me that that is filming right <laughs> Yeah. Track came off and I can't fix it either. I have no clue what I'm doing. This is Simple Living with Beata. A year ago, we sold our home to hope for the chance of finding more land to continue our homesteading and sustainability dreams. This week is the second part series of putting in our electricity. Electricity gets us one step closer to being able to build our home with ease. Last week, I left you off Monday to Thursday this video is going to be Friday to Sunday. Let's get started. Oh, it is Friday morning. We are back. We have a long day of pulling big O and hauling concrete. Also, our inspection is today and we are not ready. So I have no clue how it's gonna go. Let's explain these quickly. Oh, our little, uh, our going hunting. Our, <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, we're gonna catch a rabbit. <laughs> So uh, we're going to use this. This is a tool to help us drag the pipe. So we basically are going to loop that through and then this part will go over the pipe and then that'll keep this at down at ground level so that we keep the pipe down low as we're dragging it. So that way we have less resistance. You think we have more resistance because we're on the ground, but we're not lifting the weight of the pipe. So it saves us some energy. <laughs> So we've run out of couplings for in between the big O. We're making progress, like this technique is working so well. Uh, so I'm gonna go to town, get more couplings. We're also gonna return the big wooden spool that the wire came on, cause that was like a $900 deposit. back I missed second lunch but they have all the pipe laid out which is great we're to the end so the big O goes into one of the holes down at the bottom next up we're putting in the ground rods so this is what grounds the transformer if it's ever to get hit by lightning three feet grounding rod a grounding rod goes three feet off of each corner of the transformer base and is attached to the transformer by using number four bare copper. This is why you hire the pros. gonna be your favorite part no this is my tired part <laughs> I hate concrete I, I want to say the effing word but I, I hate concrete so basically what we're doing right now is we're doing a power supply running off the truck using a power inverter uh, to power the pump down at the, at the pond and then the pump will pump water up we'll fill up the buckets and then we'll use the buckets to make cement here in the other big tub <laughs> I guess you're the mixer. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I got the job of forming the concrete, which was perfectly okay with me. I had to make sure that the concrete was three inches around the outside edges of the big O, and this was only for the areas that could not reach 30 inches below grade. 30 inches right there. Probably a bit more right here. Yeah. 
the inspector just left. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. We actually passed the trench inspection and I did not expect to pass because we still have a little bit more concrete to do in this section. He said it's below grade enough that we can just take the sand and hump it over. Next up is gonna be the service inspection. I'm just so happy. It's Saturday morning. Craig's been here for a bit filling in this trench. We have to put a layer of soil down and then a layer of the red tape and then top fill it with more soil, all while making sure the electrical line is 30 inches below grade. My mom always dresses for the occasion to come to the property. Woo! Cam's a good supervisor. All right, Cam, help my mom. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to flop it like that. Gently. <laughs> there you go. tips because he's only here for another hour and then I am filling in the trench myself and so I'm really new with the excavator um, I'm super slow but what he's teaching me is the you know like clamp the soil in you can also drag it side to side and then at the end when you have the trench filled in you have to tamper it so that the trench doesn't sink in like a year I'm officially here alone and I have about two thirds of this trench left to backfill. So we'll see how the day goes. It could be a really late night. Gotta watch out for the toads. <laughs> get the motion so hopefully I can finish this today. And then the track came off and I can't get this freaking machine to move and I can't fix it either. I have no clue what I'm doing. This is really frustrating. So we're basically just calling it off rent and they're gonna call me Monday morning. I'm so bummed. I feel like I could have gotten most of this done but well, we're gonna have to rent it for another day now. So it's an extra like $250 out of our pocket. Oh, anyways. A good news, my friend who is an excavator operator said he could come help me fix the track so that we could finish the trench before the excavator gets picked up tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the property and meet him there. So oh, I'm just here waiting for my friend Luke to come. He got me to go out and buy Red and Tacky Grease by Lucas Oil Products. So apparently, if you don't know anything about excavators like me, this is what helps tighten the track to the excavator. Okay, the track is back on and I'm about to go back in the excavator. So hopefully I can get this done. It's almost 3.30, which is when the track fell off yesterday. So I have the same amount of time I would have had yesterday if it didn't fall off. doing
doing this, you wanna make sure that you're getting out any big rocks that fall into the trench or any like sticks that could damage the line. I know it's covered up in the big O, but it's better to be safe than sorry. This is where the machine got fixed and you can't even see the machine on this side. So we're making progress. There's the machine. So I got so close, but I did not finish the trench. It was about 9.30 at night and I was still working away with the light on the excavator. It was really hard to see and it was starting to get super sloppy, so I decided to call it. Thank you so much for watching this week and if you're enjoying my channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It is super helpful. And with that, I will see you next Sunday.